I am now going to quickly invite our uh, Assistant Deputy Minister with the Alberta Ministry of Economic Development and Trade, Matt McElsey, <laughs> to come up and give some welcoming remarks. Uh, Matt became the uh, ADM of our uh, division on November 1st, 2015. Prior to that, he was in roles with the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, as well as Environment and Parks. Uh, real pleasure to be here today. Uh, I really do want to thank the, the organizers for uh, pulling this uh, group together. I think uh, this is a, a really, <coughs> excuse me, a really important initiative for not only the government of Alberta but for Canada as a whole, and really contributing to these international development efforts. So, welcome to Edmonton on uh, behalf of the government. Uh, it was we had a beautiful sunny weekend. I think it's gone grey, but. For those that have flown in from Ontario, you're probably thinking that this is great compared to the snow that I hear you guys are getting. So, uh, We are very pleased to be hosting the 2016 IFI Boot Camp with our uh, Saskatchewan and uh, Mant Manitoba partners. Also a warm welcome to the excellent lineup of speakers who are uh, gathered to share their wisdom and their insights uh, with us today. And finally, welcome to all of the interested uh, participants that are here today to uh, connect and uh, gain some awareness on the, the major investment or opportunities that are in front of us. Uh, <clears throat> this is a private sector liaison uh, officer hosted event. Alberta has been a participant as a liaison group since 2000. Uh, these PSLOs events are very significant in that it drives global development in areas that need critical infrastructure through targeted investment approach. Secondly, it offers an opportunity to leverage the talents and expertise of not only Alberta companies, uh, but industry across Canada. These projects are often better suited than uh, suited for collaborative endeavors across provincial boundaries than a, a single provincial uh, uh, entity moving forward. So I think these kinds of events where it gets everyone in the room and talking to each other and building some of those networks is critically important in moving forward and gaining success uh, in getting awards to these projects. Alberta industry and service sectors have significant expertise to really play in this space from our perspective. Uh, water infrastructure, environmental remediation, business services, who you'll hear for, from some of them t in today's agenda, uh, the energy infrastructure management expertise that we've got, agriculture technologies and the impl implementation of those technologies, uh, Alberta has a significant play in. Uh, education infrastructure, the, the uh, service delivery of in education services is another area of expertise, as well as the emerging areas of uh, ICT technologies, geospatial applications. The Alberta has a role to play in all of these areas and uh, it, there's tremendous opportunities for partnerships with all of those industry sectors and beyond. I hope the next two days will present many opportunities to engage with your colleagues. It's critically important and I think there's time built into this agenda for that networking opportunity to have a conversation and introduce yourselves to some future partners as you spend the next two days together. Alberta has seen a significant decline in its uh, investment environment and this really has actually created an opportunity for Alberta industry to engage in the international marketplace, to extend our reach, to diversify our, our economic uh, activity uh, beyond the local markets. And then some of our staff who have been participating these next two days, uh, Christy had already mentioned, uh, Shane, Muriel, I don't think Muriel's still not in the room, but uh, really do encourage you to uh, meet with them, introduce yourself to them. They're very active in our uh, department in supporting the IFI initiatives. The uh, Alberta in International Development Office is a dedicated office within our group to really support these kind of endeavors. The, we've had some recent successes of uh, attracting this kind of in international investment and connecting and facilitating some of the connections with Alberta industry through this office. So I encourage you to, if you haven't met with them, please do that while you're here today. 
I personally like to thank them for organizing and to all of the organizers for organizing this uh, important conversation that you're about to have. And with that, uh, thank you and uh, enjoy the seminar. Thanks. <laughs>